Welcome to Fabulous Lake Tahoe, your local's guide to the very best of America's year-round playground. I'm Jack Durst, and this is a quick announcement video to let you know that there's a really exciting astronomical phenomenon coming up in my viewing area. There is going to be an eclipse of the sun on May 20th from about 6.28 to 6.33 p.m. local time, and it will be visible all the way from Kirkwood all the way north to Reno and Sparks, and even as far north and west as Redding, California. One of the most spectacular places to come and watch the eclipse is here on the shore of Lake Tahoe. I'm here at Nevada Beach on the east shore of Lake Tahoe. Because this is an evening eclipse, the sun is going to be low in the western sky. You want to pick a location where there is a good open view to the west, and one of the best places in the viewing area of the eclipse is Lake Tahoe. If you're anywhere on the eastern shore of Lake Tahoe, particularly the northeastern shore of Lake Tahoe, you will have a stunningly fabulous view of the eclipse in this beautiful natural setting that we call Lake Tahoe. Though a partial eclipse will be visible across the re region, Reno, Lake Tahoe, and Pyramid Lake will be the area where the eclipse is most visible. Um, the amount of time that the eclipse lasts depends on where you are. In Kirkwood, it'll be as little as a minute. In South Lake Tahoe, it'll be about two minutes and 30 seconds. In Truckee or North Tahoe, it'll be about three, three minutes and 50 seconds. In Pyramid Lake, there will be about four minutes and 30 seconds of totality, which is the longest of almost anywhere on Earth. Pyramid Lake is going to be having a great outdoor concert for the three days leading up to the eclipse and the day after, May 17th through 21st. There will be the Pyramid Eclipse Music Festival, which is organized by some of the same people who organized Burning Man and is, has become kind of an alternate destination for all of the people who couldn't get into Burning Man this year. Last I checked on the internet, there were still tickets available to Pyramid Eclipse. Click on the concert poster to see a video of Pyramid Eclipse and decide if you want to go there. If you're looking for something a little less festive and a little bit more quiet, I would suggest you go to one of the beaches on the east shore of Lake Tahoe. There will be a crowd out watching the eclipse, but it's not nearly as big an event. If you're looking for a somewhat smaller crowd, there is going to be a High Fives Foundation benefit on the north shore of Lake Tahoe near the 5050 Brewing Company in Truckee, where they're going to be watching the eclipse and you can pay to see a band and have your money go to a good cause. I wanna let you guys know that it's very important to tend to your personal safety when viewing an eclipse because you can very, very easily go blind staring into the sun. Even with ordinary sunglasses like these Ray-Bans, if you stare into the sun, even the little disk of sun that's visible behind the moon in an annular eclipse for a minute or so, you can do permanent damage to your eyesight. You need to go out and get yourself a proper pair of eclipse glasses. If you click on the QR code, you'll be taken to fabulouslaketahoe.blogspot.com where I have a bunch of different links on how to view the eclipse safely, what to buy, you can go to Amazon straight from the blog and buy yourself an Eclipse viewer or a set of Eclipse glasses that will be guaranteed to protect your eyes for the full three or four minutes of viewing time when you're going to have to stare into the sun to see the Eclipse. If you can't afford proper protection, what the ghetto way of doing it is you take a pen, you make a pinhole in a piece of paper like this. You hold the piece of paper over another piece of paper on the table and look down into the shadow of the pinhole. This will give you a larger image than is visible by looking at the sun directly, and it is perfectly safe to look at the shadow in the pinhole, and you may well see more detail than you would looking at the sun itself. Do, whatever you do, do not stare directly into the sun. If you have to be out without protection, focus on the light in the world rather than the sun. Now, a lot of you are going to want to try to photograph the eclipse. I want to warn you in advance that photographing an eclipse is not an easy task. You guys all know that I am a big fan of camera phones for about 90% of your photography needs, but your camera phone or your little pocket camera is simply not going to cut it for filming a solar eclipse. The sun is too small, and besides frying your CCD, all you're going to get is a little dot and a fried out CCD on your camera phone. You need to be photographing with a video camera or a real SLR camera, preferably a camera that has at least a 70 millimeter lens, preferably a 70 to 300 millimeter zoom lens. And remember that it is not any safer to point your camera unprotected into an, 
into the sun than it is for your eye. You might think that because your camera is not alive, it's not going to get damaged by a solar eclipse, but the CCD in your digital camera is actually much more sensitive to light than your eye is and will burn out even faster than your eye will in the solar eclipse. And because your camera doesn't feel pain, you're not even going to notice until afterwards. If you want to photograph a solar eclipse, go down to your photography store and get a solar filter. They cost between $100 and $200, maybe a little less if you use the link on, Am on my blog to buy the one from Amazon. If you can't afford a solar filter, I have heard on the internet that a welding shield will work, but I don't stand by that, so do it at your own risk if you do. Um, there are full instructions on eclipsechasers.com. Go to eclipsechasers.com or click on the link on my blog for a full 10-page set of instructions of how to photograph a solar eclipse and have it come out. I warn you, it is not an easy task. You have to be on manual exposure, you have to be on manual focus, and you have to get the settings just right where the eclipse will not come out. My suggestion to you, if you're not a professional photographer or, eclip or eclipse chaser, is to just rely on the internet to give you pretty pictures of the eclipse and focus on living the experience yourself. Um, Fabulous Lake Tahoe on YouTube will have a video of the eclipse either that evening or the day after. Um, and probably the internet will be completely flooded with eclipse pictures. So you don't necessarily have to have eclipse pictures of your own. So stay tuned to Fabulous Lake Tahoe. Coming up May 17th, there is the Slow Rollers Bike Parade. It's going to be a world record breaking attempt for the world's longest costume bike parade and I'm going to be out there filming. There will be video up on the 18th. Um, there will be video up on, of the eclipse on the 21st. So subscribe to Fabulous Lake Tahoe to see all these videos. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you, and keep Tahoe blue. Bye.